Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. It's your boy Shani's work alongside my beautiful mom. So today's video is going to be all about making pink tea, halwa and jane. So pink tea, halwa and jane. This was requested by every single one of you, well most of you, down below at the comments. Mm. So mom decided Kaki to make it. Pucha, That's it. So a lot of people requested it. Obviously mom normally sits there on her phone uh, watching and reading the comments. Mm -hmm. So she's constantly sitting there having a look at your comments. So she turned around and said to me, Shani, a lot of people are requesting it. So let's get it done. Inshallah, so inshallah we are going to make this uh, for you guys. So hope you enjoy it. So mom, are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. High five. Let's go. Right, so I am going to try my best to explain this in the best way I possibly can. Uh, obviously, mom's here, so she'll guide me and then I'll try and uh, give you those instructions. So the first thing, mom, what are we doing? So the first thing is boil some water. Do you know roughly how much water is in that? Four cup of water and two water. Okay, so for every four cups of water, you want to add two tablespoons. Tablespoons, tablespoons or teaspoons? Tablespoons. Tablespoons, so let's get that right. Not teaspoons, but tablespoons for every four cups of water. So it depends on how much you make, mm. and then accordingly, you can add uh, this. What's it called, Mom? Uh, pink tea. Uh, this is the pink uh, tea, Kashmiri tea, is it? Kashmiri tea. So uh, obviously you can add that. Uh, so I am going to show you the water boiling, just so that you can have a clear picture of it. So let me turn the camera around. So there we are, guys. As you can see, the water has already boiled. Mom has done it in advance for you, and then you want to add what pink. mom is adding now, which is Kashmiri tea, pink tea, which you can buy from any sort of supermarket. Uh, the two next two ingredient you want to two add. Two to three badia katai. Okay, two, two to three badia katai. Okay. I don't know if I've English, said that right. <laughs> Wait. So, I don't know if I have said that right. So, repeat that again, mom. Badia katai for English. Okay, badia katai. Okay. Two to three flowers. Right, two to three flowers of badia katai. I don't know the English term of it, but. I'm sure if you go to any Asian uh, supermarket and say Badia Khatai, they'll know what you're, uh, you're talking about. Well, guess what, guys? So, after me and mom standing there and having a little discussion about Badia Khatai, because uh, she was saying, You said it wrong, you said it wrong, but nevertheless, she's managed to take the packet out and it actually tells you what it is, so you don't have to go to the supermarket and say, Can I have Badia Khatai? Right? You can just go and say star any seeds. I think that's what it's oh, called. Star any seeds. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it yeah. says star any seeds. So at least we've got through that. So that's what you want to get, star any seeds. So for one hour, once you've added those ingredients into the boiling water for one hour, mum said, let it... Medium heat. On medium heat, let it cook. So that's it. You want to stick the lid on and then leave it for an hour. Happy mom? Yeah. Perfect. Right, so what we're going to do now, second step is while the water is boiling one uh, for one hour, mom has decided to make the jane. Yeah. So what, are we, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you uh, the ingredients. Mm. Mom will tell me what these ingredients are and then I will try my best mm. to uh, explain it in English for you. So first ingredient is two onions diced. So you want to chop them up as you can see nice and fine you've got about 12 grams of uh, chickpeas you've got one cup oil you've got two tomatoes which are chopped as you can see in the video uh, two green chilies again you want to chop them up nice and fine you've got four to five pieces of garlic and then you've got one ginger what you want to do with them is mash them up into a little paste as you can see in front of you then you've got uh, half a tablespoon of cumin seeds and half a tablespoon of kalvanji seeds. Next ingredient we've got one tablespoon of uh, coriander powder. Then what you've got is half a teaspoon of haldi powder. You want one tablespoon of red chili powder. One tablespoon of salt. With the salt and the red chili powder, that is your own personal preference. If you like it extra hot, then you can obviously, by all means, 
add extra salt and extra red chili powder. Anyways, moving on. This ingredient, mom, I've got a bit of a uh, thing. So what's this called? Garam masala. Okay, so this is garam masala. So you want one tablespoon of garam masala as well. So those are the ingredients, guys, for your uh, jane. So first things first, mom said to add the oil in. So add the oil into the pan, as you can see right there. And then uh, how long? Okay, so you want that to go slightly hot, not too uh, hot maybe? Any too hot. Not too hot. Okay, so the next, uh, in the oil, to make the jane, you want to add the diced onions into the pan. So I will show you that now. So that's what you want to do. Add the diced onions into the pan. And then you want it like a light brown colour. Light brown. So uh, make sure they turn into a nice light brown. So once they've turned light brown, mom is adding garlic the ginger. garlic and ginger into the pan alongside the onions. So as you can see right there, so the uh, garlic and the ginger has been added. And then cook it for a couple of minutes, mom? Yeah, a couple of minutes. So a couple of minutes, let that cook. Mom, ah. these onions are making me cry. Honey, what's your drink? Did you know what? Chalo, that's a very deep on it. Chalo, John. Right, now that my eyes are back to normal, the next thing you want to add is the chopped tomatoes. So, chopped tomatoes. You want to add the haldi powder. You want to add the red chili powder. Salt. Uh, the salt. The coriander powder. And then once again, for about, for about how long, Mom? Three, four minutes. Three to four minutes, let those ingredients cook until you put the next ones in. Okay, guys, after four to five minutes, lift the lid up. And as you can see, that's looking absolutely amazing. And the next ingredients you want to add, which was cumin seeds, and what was that called again, Mom? Kalvanji. Uh, Kalvanji. So, Kalvanji seeds, so cumin seeds and Kalvanji seeds go in. Mircha alongside the green chilies and once again give it a nice good old stir okay so mom said uh, put like half a cup of water in it as well and then give it a nice stir like that four to five minutes okay once again four to five minutes you want to leave it cooking uh, on medium heat so medium heat with the lid on Give it a nice stir. The masala is looking absolutely amazing. So the masala is now ready. The next step is going to be adding in the chickpeas. So let me turn the camera so that you guys can have a look properly. Adding the uh, chickpeas in like that. Bam! So just like that. And then once again for another five minutes you want to cook this up. Is that with the lid on again, mom? With the lid on. So with the lid on. So go on then, mom. Stick that lid on. Right, guys. The chane are looking absolutely amazing. It's making my mouth water looking at them. So what you want to do is, you want to mash the chane, mom said. Just a little bit. So you don't want to mash them completely, but just a, a, a soft little mash, as you can see mom doing. A nice day, so, so like that, just mash them up slightly and then give it a nice stir. Okay guys, so this is the final ingredient that you want to add uh, to the chane, garam which is your garam masala. So once the garam masala is added, uh, give it a nice stir. 
फिर फाइव मिनट ऐसे दामते रखना एंड देन वंस अगेन यू वांट टू कुक इट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स बट दिस टाइम व्हाट यू वांट टू डू इज यू वांट टू पुट इट ऑन वेरी लो हीट थ्री टू वन लेट्स गो ये रेडी हो गए थे सो देयर्स योर चने व्हिच आर रेडी नाउ कुलचा चने का एंड यू कैन कंज्यूम देम विद आइदर पूरियां or you can have them with kulche is it naan. kulche naan if whatever you prefer so there we are guys that's the final product so your chane are now ready to be consumed with either puriya or some fresh naan okay guys so the uh, kashmiri tea we are going to start making that now which is the pink tea mom has told me to just explain something to you guys so basically Mom normally brings the tea from Pakistan. Yeah. Uh so when she brings the tea from Pakistan, uh she does not need to add anything else into that uh you know color nahi pana pehna. Yeah, so basically the the tea that you get from here from UK. Kadi nahi kala nikalta hoga. You can never get the pink, you know, the rich pink color out. So what they often do Food red color. Yeah. So what they often do to get that pink uh texture out is add red food powder which you can buy from any supermarket so once the kashmiri tea has been cooking for up to an hour then what you want to do is add this red food powder so as you can see right there so mom has added the red food powder into uh, the kashmiri tea the pink tea and then with cold water as mom will show you You want to put some cold water in, likewise, and then do exactly what she is doing there. Once you've added that coloring powder, you will get this dark reddish color. Hold on, hold on. Now, what you want to do is you want to remove that off the heat, and then you want to sieve it, removing all that tea that you've got in there, as you can see. All the remaining tea comes out. And then you want to add the milk. Oh, before you add the lychee powder, mom, how hot would you uh, say the milk has to be? No, no, just like that, it's hot. Oh, okay. So you don't have to really uh, heat it up. So once you put it on the uh, heat, you want to add the lychee powder. Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon lychee powder into the milk. And then you want to add that red textured water into the milk as you can see look at that look at that beautiful pink texture so that is what forms your pink tea as you can see okay now what you want to do is leave it until it boils Well mom's mom's just said that uh, obviously certain people like to put salt into their uh, pink tea some uh, people like to add sugar sugar so yeah. you can add either one of those uh, ingredients so you can either have uh, you know a sweet uh, pink tea or you can have a salty pink tea they both honestly taste amazing uh, so that's your own personal preference what you want to add Right the pink tea now is ready so what you want to do is uh, you've got two options here so some people like to add the almonds and the pistachios that mom has crushed right here some people like to add it all into the actual uh, pink tea that's been made so they like to add all of it into that bowl there that's your decision to make because remember everybody's different so some people like extra pistachios and almonds some people uh, oh, like right, only right. a little bit the proper way of doing it is the way mom is going to show you right now so i'm going to turn the camera just so they can have a look at what mom's going to do so it's your decision to make on how you want to do it uh, i want two spoons of sugar please mom two spoon of sugar okay so let me show you let me turn the camera around so mom's added two, two spoon of sugar yeah two uh, teaspoons of sugar and that's the proper way so you can add the uh, pistachios and, and almonds into the cup directly and then fill that cup up with your pink tea 
And then voila! Shani, that's yours. Your pink tea is ready. And it smells absolutely amazing. It looks amazing. And I can guarantee you it tastes amazing too. So I am going to have a sip of it. So let's go. That tastes absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, guys, the smell, it smells fantastic. It tastes amazing, the texture is amazing. And mom is inviting all of you, Zena, as usual, mm. to have some amazing pink tea. So I hope that has helped many of you that commented down below on how to make pink tea. So uh, when you do get a chance, and you make this pink tea following the instructions that mom has just uh, shown you, make sure, uh, send us some pictures or kindly DM me on Instagram. Show me some pictures, show me some videos of you guys making this pink tea because me and mom, both of us would love to see them. Fantastic job, mom. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Right, last but not least, it's time to make the halwa. So I'm going to show you the ingredients uh, used to make the halwa. This is quite a quick uh, process. Uh, halwa doesn't take too long. Uh, so these are the ingredients that we use to make halwa. So the first ingredient is uh, butter or margarine. That's totally up to yourselves which one you want to use. Then you've got three cups of sugar. You've got three cups of suji, which is called semolina. So three cups fine semolina. So you've got uh, almonds and you've got some raisins. Mm -hmm. And five to six lachis. And then five to six lachis. So first thing you want to do is add the butter into the pan. Like mom has done so. Let the butter uh, melt a bit. Melt a bit inside the pan so there you are guys as you can see the butter has all melted now you want to add the lachis in as mom has done so and then for two to three minutes you want to let them cook on uh, what heat is it mom? Medium heat. on medium heat Right, so once you've cooked that for a, a couple of minutes, the next step is to put the fine semolina. So that's what you want to add next, which is the suji, aka fine semolina. And now for just a while, like mom said, stir it and cook it for about how, many, how long roughly mom? Okay, so uh, light brown. make it into a light brown texture. Full heat. On full heat. It's uh, turned into a nice golden brown. So once that's done, what's the next step, mom? Okay, so you want to add the sugar in. Okay, so as soon as you've put the sugar in, you want to straight away add the water in, which is four cups of water. So like that, as soon as you add the uh, sugar in, four cups of water goes straight into that pan. Right, as you can see, it's gone a nice thick texture. So you wanna add the almonds and the raisins into that texture. Three to four minutes. And on light heat, three to four minutes, you wanna cook it up. So it'll become nice and thick. So there we are guys, your halwa is uh, finished. So mom has made your halwa right there. The only thing that you've got to put on there now, the finishing touch, which is... Pakistan chandi de varak. Yeah, so mom bought these specifically from Pakistan, which are called chandi varak. So I promise you it's not foil. <laughs> uh, you can consume these, you can eat these. Pista badam. So chandi varak and some uh, pista badam. Which long is, slices to cut, yeah, pista badam. cut them in nice long slices as you can see. And there you have it. Your finished product of some amazing halwa that mom has prepared. 
Okay. So well done, Mom. Well done. You've done a fantastic job today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, Mom has done an amazing job in making the chane, the halwa, and the pink tea. I feel exhausted and I've not even done anything. All I simply did was record Mom do it, so I can imagine Mom must be shattered. You tired, Mom? No. Okay, so mom's not tired. I think I guess she's kind of used to doing all this. Yes, so mom said, please do give it a go. I hope you do enjoy this video. I'm going to quickly show you. So mom said, I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, when you do make it, I hope it turns out to be absolutely amazing. People might be asking us uh, that why didn't mom make the puriyan? The reason being, because we are going to eat these chane and stuff with some uh, fresh naan, naan rather than the puriya, so hence the reason why mom didn't make the puriya. Yeah, so okay, so nice and easy. If uh, you don't know how to make the puriya, it's such an easy process. You simply get uh, plain flour, uh, you add a touch of salt. And then uh, just water. water then you don't need to add anything else to those. Yeah, that's it. So don't add anything extra. No. So it's just plain flour, mm. salt, and water. water. Mix it up, and that's your dough ready for mm. uh, the bouillon. Mm. Nevertheless, these are the three products that Mum has made for you. For those that requested it on the comments, so let's uh, have a look at them. So there they are, guys. You've got your chane. You've got your halwa and you've got your amazing pink tea. You've got some malai on there. Duk the malai, duk the malai. But that's okay. But there you are, guys. There's your three final products. And I hope... Inshallah, I'll like it. So there we are. So mom, thank I just want to say you've done an amazing job. Yeah, thank honestly. you both, both. So lots and lots of love Sandy to my beautiful mama bear, bear. who's uh, prepared these three amazing dishes for all of you to make when possible so anyways guys i am tired i'm sure <laughs> mom is tired yeah, okay. even though she's saying she's not tired i know for a fact she is so mama bear is gonna sit down and relax and enjoy her pink tea but um lots and lots of love, lots of love. for every single one of you beautiful amazing people allah you guys allah khush rakhe, like mom said honestly you guys have been absolutely amazing mm -hmm. phenomenal the amount of love and support that you guys have been showing us since we opened this YouTube channel, we've seen it grow, grow, grow. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you so much. Hats thank up you to you guys. Thank you. Allah lots and lots of love. Allah Hafiz, yeah. So it's Allah Hafiz from here. I hope you guys Inshallah. enjoyed this video. And if you did, like always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And uh, once again, like I said previously, send us uh, some images, send us some videos through Instagram DM or the email that I will provide in the description down below because we would love to see how you made uh, the pink tea, the halva and the jenny. Once again, bye bye from your boy Shani's World. Bye bye from Mama Allah Bear. Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. I love you all. And don't forget to subscribe. So we're out. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz.